We're all a little bit tired of driving. What we got here. A lot of bit tired. Campsites are only eight bucks, so that's not bad. I only shot my bow one time since I got it. Not because I am horrible at being prepared, but I got my bow in really late, so didn't have long to sight it in. This is what happens when you shoot your bow for 30 minutes after you buy it. Only shot like a couple times at 40 yards, so. It was literally yesterday he got out his bow, it shoots at like 15 yards and he misses the target. And he thinks he's going hunting today, so he has confidence. <laughs> 23, not going in for anything spectacular. <laughs> Just wanna make sure I can hit a target. At, hit what I'm aiming for at 20 and 30. Be close to what I'm aiming for at 40. Good at, at, at least 30, I should be all right. See that one, I jerked the trigger and shot about six inches low, so I'm just not comfortable with my release yet. HP finds them like that all the time. And that's a cornfield down there too, so. We got some nice straws to go check Good out. Boys, get it. So Jonathan just got his buck mount back from last year. Oh damn. Doesn't that look sick? That's awesome. <laughs> looks so awesome. Don't make don't let me forget to uh, lock this up when we walk out. Trying to figure out where to, I want to put the GoPro at. Yeah. It's all, basically all the fingers that come off that back tree line. Yeah. down at the bottom we'll see some pretty good trails oh yeah for sure but we can at least see if they got good trails cutting up that draw maybe of where we're allowed to hunt which also happens to be right where there's a big fresh rub it's a really nice draw that I think the deer are working up and out so Scott's gonna go jump down into a different draw and we're just gonna kind of jump down here I thought this entire opening was crops because that's what it looked like from the maps, but turns out most of it's just grass, but it's these little fingers of woods that come up into the field. We slip up this tree and just call it good. If we don't see anything, we'll move out, try a different spot.
stir it up a little bit. Clap your hands. Yip, 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 yip. <laughs> yip, yip, yip. Sounds good. And you're not packing right. sticks or anything. I'm gonna go walk the edge of this cornfield. Scott's gonna come in down from the north side and we're coming up from the south side and we're gonna just kinda look for tracks and stuff. See what we see. some deer into the woods he saw some deer jump into the woods so we're just kind of like kind of hunkered down by this tree in case they happen to come out I don't know if they will or not but it's not a cellular though kind of suck because the deer won't be moving quite as good thank you rich system and right now our wind is kind of sucking right up to where we think that you're at so we're gonna slip back out scout some more properties and probably come back in the evening we don't have any gear to get up into trees right now so we'll come back this evening with some some tree stand type stuff and it will make this our primary set but I love the sign I mean these tracks are from like last night First full day, evening, and we're going into the spot where we hiked up this morning, cut some big buck tracks. Lots of deer sign kind of down in this bottom right by the road. There's some apple trees and so they're kind of eating on them a lot, but we didn't see any buck tracks down there. So we're going to go back up the ridge, uh, follow those tracks, see where they lead us. Filming <laughs> and doing this is a little tricky. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> you 
are so smug. <laughs> you never bow. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a pole there. So the deer is about to move this pretty nice one. Okay. Yeah, fighting. Dang. Ooh, ooh, another duck. Ooh, that's a big one. 